Hey guys, this is Tom from Class of Plastic, here live at Washington, D.C. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Hey guys, Tom from Classic Plastic here. Happy Friday. Um, bringing you another haul video. And uh, this video is pretty neat just because I went to a couple of different places and got uh, games and hardware for different consoles. So let's jump right in. Alright, first game that we're going to take a look at and the deal right now, this is up till December 24th, is buy two, get one free on DS and Wii games. So these were my picks. First one, Ghost Squad. I love um, arcade shooters, and especially the Wii has capitalized on that. And um, you guys have heard on my other videos that um, I just can't stop playing these uh, arcade shooters. They're a lot of fun and this is another game that's very fun and quirky by Sega um, and this is how you know it's quirky you can dress as a panda and be in the SWAT team so very excited to play uh, this game uh, very happy that I was able to pick it up uh, the next game I actually picked up for a sibling of mine um, She's really into these, uh, like, Cooking Mama and these fast food panic games, and um, they're good fun um, if you're into that type of game. Unfortunately, it doesn't appeal to me, so um, it might to you, but a lot of fun. I picked up the title for $9, and then I was very, very pleased to find a complete copy of Baroque. Uh, published by Atlas. Um, this is one of the more hard to find titles on for the Wii. Um, so every time I come across it, I try to buy it. Um, I got it for two sixty nine, which is a steal. Even if it wasn't rare, the game is tons of fun. So I highly recommend it. The next game I picked up, um, I wasn't too sure about, but um, I picked it up anyways. It's Furu Furu Park. And basically what this is, it's a Tato um, compilation. So a bunch of games from Tato. Um, and this is like a compilation game such as uh, the Data East collection. So I really love Tato games and this has a whole mess of them. So um, for 98 cents, I'd be crazy not to pick it up. The next title I got, I was super happy to get, and was Nano Assault. This is going for $4. Um, this game is definitely worth the $4. It's an awesome uh, shoot 'em up or shmup, depending on uh, how you say it. But um, this is a really cool action packed shoot 'em up uh, spaceship shooter. It's actually. Um, a game based inside a microorganism so um, you're going around shooting viruses and things like that it's tons of fun um, the predecessor to this was called Nano Stray so uh, keep an eye out for these games they're tons of fun if you like shoot 'em ups three PSP titles you guys know I love my PSP I think I have about 87 games in my collection um, so and still counting so the first one I got was Smart Bomb. This game was 98 cents. Um, basically what you do, it's, it's a puzzle game and you try to get to the detonator before the time runs out and um, there's a lot of different uh, things that kind of um, basically take the attention from getting to the detonator and basically doing like little side quests which are really cool. It's really fun. This next title was my fiance's pick, and I absolutely was 100% uh, behind her backing her, just because I love this title. It's Parap, it's Parappa the Rapper. 
Uh, this is a cult classic for anybody who played the PlayStation 1. This is a game that um, predates Dance Dance Revolution and uh, even Guitar Hero. And basically what you do is um, with the different buttons, you kind of lay down the track and when you miss it, um, it messes up the track and just tons of fun. It's a 2D uh, type uh, of game. So if you're uh, musically inclined, I would highly recommend this. Even if you're musically challenged or beat challenged, um, I still highly recommend it. The music is great. The gameplay is tons of fun. The last PSP game I got is uh, Infected, and unfortunately I couldn't get a, um, a case for it, but um, I do remember trying to get this game a while back ago and not being able to find it. Um, uh, I've read a lot of reviews about this game, and I'm actually working on a review for this game. It's tons of fun. I've played it uh, for about an hour or so, and it is just outrageous. The things they say, the things they do, it's just crazy. They're, they're just not afraid to <laughs> uh, cross that line. And um, unfortunately, it's disc only, but um, the game is the real treat. So um, keep, out, keep an eye out for that review. I went to my local game exchange and I picked up uh, three titles that I was very excited to pick up. Uh, the first one is Forever Batman the Arcade Game. And it may not be the best Batman game, but um, it is a Sega Saturn game. And um, while the game is quirky and hard to beat, um, nonetheless, it's a great addition for my Sega Saturn. I think I'm at 40 uh, Sega Saturn titles. Unfortunately, this is a disc only, but the disc is in really good condition and um, I'm more of a gamer than I am a collector, so I'm not too anal about um, getting really good condition cases if they're not available. The second game I got is called Gobs of Games, and this is by 3DO. Um, I've never seen this game. I got it for very cheap. Um, I'm sure the games are very low quality. If they're not, then I applaud 3DO. But um, I haven't played it yet. I am in the process of doing it. And for the longest time, I thought it was a bootleg game. But um, it has the Nintendo board right there. And of course, the Nintendo case. So... Um, I'm really looking forward to play this game and see what it's got. The next game I got, I was very excited to get. I picked it up for dirt cheap. I paid around $2 for it. And that's um, Keith Courage and Alpha Zones. And um, Keith Courage is a very common title for the TurboGrafx-16. Um, now, with that being said, TurboGrafx-16 games are actually very hard to find in the wild. Um, I understand you can get them from Amazon and eBay and pay, um, you know, face value for the games. But um, I currently don't have a TurboGrafx-16, so it's not, let's say, a priority to get these games. But when I do come across them, I do like to purchase them just because... You don't find them out in the wild, especially in their jewel case. Um, the only thing that's missing is the little sleeve that the Hue card comes in, but even the Hue card itself is in good condition. Um, the case is in good condition. The uh, hinges aren't broken, so I was very happy to pay $2 for this game. I also picked up a uh, Wii Motion Plus ex uh, extension um, for four dollars so I was really happy to pick that up um, I'm a really big Wii fan so um, anything that I can get on the cheap to improve the console I get the last title I actually picked up for 96 cents um, at a local thrift store um, and I was very happy to find it just because um, it's complete and that is Eternal Champions for the Sega CD um, 
I do have a Sega CD. It's a very temperamental console. It's very easy to damage it. I'm missing some cables for it, but I do have about uh, 20 titles for the Sega CD, and this makes 21. Um, of course, as with all Sega CD and um, long boxed games, the hinges are broken, but um, what I found, oh my lord, what I found was very cool was that the game is actually in really good condition, um, and normally in thrift stores they just throw them on the spindles and let them get beat up, but uh, the booklets here, there's an extra little booklet here for the video games of the season, um, and I got this for 97 cents, so I can't complain. Um, Eternal Champions is a fun um, fighting game, and uh, as soon as I'm able to fire up the Sega CD, I'll do so and play this game and get you guys a review. Look around, ask, and uh, game on.